Today's topic, this guy calls himself Poppy Don. There's two things a woman want to hear. Her cash app and Zell, and what's her full name and birthday? Book her a trip. If you really want her, do something different. Stop asking her to the movies or the dinner. She could drive there herself. Do something no one else is asking her for. Take her on fucking vacation, you cheap, broke bastards. Otherwise, leave her alone. Let a rich demon come and get her. Oh, man, she need to be... Nobody want to hear about your spiritual future, motherfucker. She want to be on a plane getting back shots on a balcony. The first day you meet her, treat her. She already went on a date with you. Now give her some fucking money. Then you want to wonder why you don't get no pussy at the end of the first or the second date. You didn't let this girl get her hair, her nails done, pick out her outfit, and drive to you, offer some free dinner and a fucking conversation, and you think that you go ahead at the end of the night. <laughs> Listen, if he don't do nothing for you on the first date, I, sw I swear to God, when you get back in the car, just text your ex. Just go ahead and text your ex. These niggas don't know what they doing out here. Bro, what are we watching? Well, I mean, now that Derek Jackson's left the scene, somebody's got to take his place. <laughs> <laughs> you tell men to take care of women and they write all these paragraphs, make these videos. These bitches don't deserve it. All they do is beg. These type of niggas are simps. These women is hoes. But if I made a video talking about how you could take care of your homeboys, your day one, and all your men around you, then you'd be like, yeah, he's a real one. If you gay, just say that, my G. When did it come a crime to take care of women? But you'll take care of your homeboy that's going to fuck your girl anyway? <laughs> okay. You got another one? She don't want to hear your get money stories. She doesn't want to hear about what clubs you've been to, where you traveled. She's looking you dead in your fucking eyes, at your neck and your wrist, and she's wondering why she ain't got one zell from you, but you over here telling her about all this get money shit. You wore your jewelry picked up in your nice car, and she's still trying to figure out why you ain't send no fucking money, but all you keep talking about is money. <laughs> Tell me how these ladies sound like my African siblings wondering when I'm going to send them Western Union money. That's crazy. <laughs> Tell me how, how we both live in a first... I understand that they live where they live and they got their friend angel. But bitch, you in the same country as me. You live down the street. But I got to send you some Zell. Motherfucker, ask you that? What, for money? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. American women have asked me for money. Straight. American m women have asked you for money? 100%. Why? What do you mean, why? You've never heard of tricking? You've never heard of ladies who want favors? I don't know. Now, come to think of it, some have asked me for money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're comfortable. They're very comfortable. But yeah, there's a lot of people who, who expect yeah. money. That's why it's funny because when I did the other video talking about like these women who want high value dudes, a lot of women came up and said, well, we don't really want that. It's not that common. Oh, no, it's very common. It is common. It's very it common. And I, I don't like I don't mind giving money. If I don't know you, don't ask for it. You're not my family, you're not my friends, whatever. I'm not going to. It's not even money sometimes. It's just I go out. I go out and people are going to be like, yo, why are you going to buy me a drink? Who are you? For for me, it's just it's just the entitlement. It's like y'all can get out here and say this kind of crazy stuff, and people don't go out of their way to check you on it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can get on TV, y'all can pull a Cardi B, y'all can be out here robbing dudes while they passed out on Quaaludes. You can do whatever you want, and anything a woman is is perfect. It's, it's fine. It's empowerment. It's whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, no, you tricking, and it's okay. But let's call it what it is, and let's not promote it. And this guy is simping. He's brown nosing. It's a different form. I call it aggressive simping. So you don't see it like that because he looked like he's just the type of way that is not like a normal scent. He's brown nosing. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day he's brown nosing. But he's brown nosing. He's brown nosing. I'm not even going to say he's simping because I, I, I now hate that term and I believe it's overused. I'm going to use he's a Says a nigga who uses the word trash. Uh, No. He's a massive enabler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enabler. Yeah. yeah, that word is trash. That's what I'm going to say. Hey, I just wanted you to say it trash. It's Thursday. Everybody's going to DM her. Everybody wants to take her to dinner. Take that girl shopping. Take $800 out your fucking account and take that girl shopping. You're going to do the same shit everybody else do and get left on red, leaving emojis in her DM. Take her shopping. Do something different. Buy her the clothes this weekend she's going to wear so when she's drunk, she thinks about you. And guess who's house she's going to? <laughs> but what do I know, hey? Have a good day. And look at the top comment. I need more than 800. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to do one thing. What, what you got to do is do something other than what everybody else is doing. 
going in a DM and, you know, unless you're really attractive and you're really that, you know, that nine to 10 or whatever, don't go in a DM sending her like heart eyes and shit like that. Don't do that shit. Do something special. Do something different. But you don't have to like spend $800 on her. Look, look at these comments. Look at these comments. So creepy. But they don't they, even have the $800. And then this one goes, so glad I stumbled on this feed. Take him to school. 825. I want something to eat while we shop. These gals are delusional. I can work with $800. Bitch, you got a mop on your head. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Why you hating? It's just the entitlement, bro. If I saw an ugly nigga, how you're talking about he, he's going to get some highs and some tents and he going to bag you like, you know, Naomi Osaka. I'm like, bro, you know, take yourself, take yourself and get some <laughs> Naomi Walmart. Okay. Cause that's all you're going to find. Stop playing with me. And it's just, it's just the entitlement. Don't, don't get you a Naomi Osaka when you, you, you deserve a Naomi Brampton. <laughs> <laughs> a Naomi Far Rockaway. A Naomi Opaloka. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Sometimes I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Like, who raised y'all? But that's why I say, like, yo, they move different. Look, ladies, ladies, ladies. If a man is on Instagram talking about women don't deserve this, bah, say, hello, papa. Show me your baby mamas. Show me your ex. And watch him start stuttering. That's where you'll learn his insecurities. It's either he lost a bad bitch or... The type of women you fuck that's letting you fuck for nothing. <laughs> Nobody wants them, bozo. <laughs> I don't see why you hate it. It's from outside the club. You can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the laugh. You did it. Do it again. <laughs> I don't know why you. <laughs> you need to put that in. I don't, need... I don't know why you hate from outside the club. You can't even get in. <laughs> That's a laugh. That's a laugh you did. No, Americans live for money, man. They move different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know, with him advocating for this simp thing, I guarantee you, he's not paying Look, for the ladies who are now sliding into his box. Normal. You don't need to. No, you don't need to. You don't. You don't need to be like that. Eight hundred dollars. You gonna get it and then hit it and then ghost. Ghost yeah. the ghost. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's actually guys out there who enjoy paying, who enjoy that process, and that's their thing. They don't want to do the whole chit chat. They don't want to have organic stuff. That's fine. And that's fine. But now, ladies, a lot of them are just expecting that stuff. They're just expecting it. I respect the exchange of services. A service is a service for money. I get that. That's your business. That's your business. Mm. You do whatever you got to do. There's people that are willing to pay. You do whatever you got to do. There's some people that's like, no. You show up to, I show up to a club and you be like, yo, pay me a drink. For what? I'm not even going to talk. What? I don't even know you. When I go on dates and a girl starts giving me that money vibes, I'm like, deuces, you can, you can take a walk. You know? I know that M Miami is a destination for vacation, just for the girls. Just because they can go out there. Go to the club, not pay the entry, not pay the coat check, not pay nothing, get in there, not even bring money. I've seen girls, being a bouncer, I've seen girls at clubs with nothing but $5 in their pocket, and they come out of the club wasted. But you want to know why? Because they, 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 they know that dudes came hungry and they know they got some Olive Garden pasta on them. So somebody going to eat. You feel me? And, you know, the thing is, like me, whenever I see this kind of behavior, I already got Jamie Foxx cued in my phone. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, man. They don't know that one. <laughs> they don't know that one. No, no, no. Uh, that, that Kanye tune. Okay. Oh. <laughs> But I like the other tune better. And also, like, you Don't know, to. the bad ladies, like, they, they listen, they're probably won't like that in the States. Out here, they're certainly not like that. And when I was in Europe, they weren't like that. I mean, it's there's always going to be some. There's always going to be some. But it's really, I don't know. I think Instagram has just floated these ladies' ideas, thinking just because they look good, every dude should throw them money. And that's wow. why me personally, if I found out a girl's done that in the past, I wouldn't even consider dating. Mm, that's what I'm saying. I, I look at you like your character's compromised. Buy my nafli. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Like it's it's yeah 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 it's like tainted because you do you you act like yeah but you don't see you don't think them girls no yeah yeah it's it, 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 it's not like they got an STD it's like they got a STCD you know what's that sexually transmitted character deficiency you know what I'm saying like 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 
Like they took some dick and it took a piece of their of their of their soul. You know what I'm saying? It's the fact that it was it's transactional. Yeah. I don't care if it's transactional. It's not the transactional part that gets me. It's is the fact is the lack thereof. Like I would respect more the transact. That's what I'm saying. I would respect more the transaction. At least everybody getting something out of it. There's some motherfuckers out there that are willing to be. Now I understand that's not your thing. I'm not saying that it's my thing. I would say that I would respect you more if it's transactional. You're getting something out of it. They getting something out of it. Oh, I agree. I agree. But if you're not even, you're doing this shit to not even. That's a holdup. Everyone got their thing. You know what I mean? If you trade it. But if you're just out here looking cute on Instagram, talk about, yo, send me money, Poppy, and dudes to send you money, and you fine with that, I look at you different. That's just me personally. Now, am I going to go out of my way to call you names? Of course not. I ain't got no time for that. But if you come at me afterwards talking about, yo, yeah, you are bugging. You are bugging. That's why, like, honestly, I, I won't even front you, bro. If I'm talking to a girl and she got a high Instagram count, in my head, I'm already like, oh, where? Of course not. Of course not. Bummy. Of course not. Maybe that's why I don't care. It's not really my way. It doesn't mean that they're all like that. But, yo, generally speaking, you know what I mean? I know when you're getting flown out. <laughs> things are happening, you see? <laughs> things are chatting, yeah, yeah? I, I, yo, people I, I, know. I was born out night. I wasn't born last night. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a goober. I know what goes on. I've seen those DMs. I've seen them. Girls have shown me their inboxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down in the DM. It goes down. One in particular had a couple mil. When she was showing me, he's like, yep, yeah, I got five, five digits to get got flown. Of course. To a of sandy course. place. You talk about Dubai. Stop playing. We know. We know you talk about Dubai. Dubai is a go-to place. We ain't talking about Las Vegas. We talk about Dubai. Dubai, the new Las Vegas, where they get flown. But out. maybe she went there tomorrow. Shut the fuck up. I've been working for the people that fly them out. A bit. Knock them off. All right. Hey, like I said, like, come on now. You know, you you know. I've been. I, they play the game, and this guy's playing the game. He's playing this character. He's doing all this goofy shit on Instagram. It's all. It's all persona. It's all bullshit. Maybe it's paying for him for whatever he's. Trying to have a transaction, but oh yeah, yeah, I mean everyone's everyone's playing their part. They're playing their role to get their money. Yeah. The same way the girls like, yeah, poppy, whatever you want, right? When they go on poppy, poppy, they are doing all that bullshit, right? She's playing her role. She's getting her bag. And the same way right. he's doing what he's got to do to get his. But I can also look at it. I'm like, I don't respect it. That's all it comes down to. Yeah, you could, you could, yeah, 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 yeah. But when you rock in Gucci bags and you get flown out, you probably don't care about a random nigga's respect. If you can sleep with yourself at night, then go do what you want to do. Take her out shopping. Take a hundred bucks. Eight hundred. What are you talking about? Because these girls got expensive tastes. Take uh, eight hundred bucks out of your pockets and go. Is there any surprise that marriages are failing at the rate that they're failing? For better or for worse? No, for, no, 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 really no, no, but think about it. For better or for worse? Papi, you got eight hundred dollars? No, nah, man, I'm struggling right now. Deuces! Like, you understand? Know it's it, it, exactly what I was saying. It's because it's because of what it's based on. It's what it's based on, and that's not that ain't it. Yeah, you know? and they're they're basing their whole relationship like that. Ooh, he treats me good. He pays for me, treats me like a princess, just like how I like. Treating you like a princess ain't going to solve anything. You know what I mean, it's not going to raise kids, but whatever you do, you you know what kills you do me, you, mama. You kills me is like a lot of these girls do this stuff right, and they do the whole tricking thing where they you know paying for 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 lace or whatnot. Or even not. Sometimes they just they get, ca- they get cash apped. And then if you compare them to a sex worker, they get so offended. You 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 comparing me to them? Bitch, you're beneath them. No, because they, they, they know. The sex workers know exactly what they do. That's what I'm saying. I've always said it. I got no issue with girls who do that line of work. I got no problem. Meets nope. the, the nope. IG who just be like, cash at me. This is just, ugh. That's why I said. It's a holdup. You're yeah. silly motherfuckers. But so you're a hero because like sex work is a transaction. There's <sighs> people that are happy to pay. There's people that are happy to get paid. It's none of my business. But now you're just like okay. my big problem is is, is niggas is paying for Olive Garden pasta like it's a three Michelin star restaurant, and it's really men's fault. My problem is that people actually base their actual. If you're doing that for work and having shit for you, I don't care about that boo boo. Do you? All day, every day. But if you date, if you base your actual, rela- your actual relationships on that, 
you base your relationship and you base how you're going to date on that, pay me money, that's why I have an issue. If that's transactional for you and you just want people to actually not, you don't want to do anything and you want people to pay, you know what? I'm going to take what, what, I, what I said back. Do you. It's still, it's still a hold up, a whole hold up. You do you. But if you're basing yourself on relationship on that and choosing your mate on that and you wonder why things are not working, I'm like, you're a goober. I'm not upset with this. Tell us what you guys think of the class.